Hi everyone. So what I'm going to demonstrate today is uh, whereabouts, which is our solution for people and assets tracking, um, which is um, a tracking system uh, that works both indoors and globally, where we can essentially track uh, a device with room level accuracy inside a building, but also with you know, 20, 30 meters accuracy, which is uh, 60 feet anywhere in the world. Um, so if I go in the product section here, I go in the people and assets tracking. And I have, I have here a description of all the things that this, uh, this product can do. What I'm going to do today is to um, go through all the steps for um, creating an account and, uh, and tracking a device. Okay, so I'm going to click here on try it now. Um, and I have a little form that I need to fill out. My email address, password, password again. City. And I'm not a robot. Create account. There you go. So I create an account and I should receive in my inbox. There you go. I have received a, an email um, saying that my account has been created and that I can go here uh, on this link to get all the instructions on how to get started. So I'm going to open this uh, this document here. Um, I have it here. Um, and uh, it describes all the steps. So the first one is I need to um, um, select a device that I want to track. So there are several options. I can track here Android smartphones like this one. I can track um, a smartwatch, you know, which is uh, convenient to, uh, uh, for uh, tracking device. And also these, um, I like these little tags here. There are like uh, mini, mini smartphone, mini Android smartphones. And they're very convenient because they are small. Um, they have, um, they're very lightweight. And this is the device that I'm going to track today. So, um, I have to first download and install the AccuWare app, uh, which is something that I did already. Uh, so here the app is running. And um, what I have is an ID when I installed the, the AccuWare app that, that is going to uh, define uh, how the system is going to identify the device. So, so if I click here on sign in, um, I'm going to open in a new tab. Um, I need to enter the credentials that I just created. And I'm going to log on to my account. This is the site that I want to use. And I need to go here on the left. There's a navigation bar. Um, and I want to go to the whereabouts sections section. So here, um, it's empty because I haven't entered any device yet, but I'm going to do that. So you remember the, uh, the ID that I showed you? That's what you need to enter here in the add device section. Uh, so I enter it, uh, WC, X0, B, P, 6K. So this is the ID that was here and I'm going to call it asset tag. Save, there you go. So now I have this device entered in the system and if I click on start operation, then this device is going to be tracked and it's going to transmit its location to the system. So if I go here on map, uh, let's put it here, this is the device that I just entered, asset tag. And now I can track it already with very little effort uh, with uh, 20 meters accuracy 
uh, anywhere um, anywhere in the world globally so um, the um, one of the interesting parts also of uh, whereabouts is that we worked a lot on the battery optimization so the uh, the app is only going to transmit the location when it needs to okay so if I go here on the in the last scene section um, it's not going to update it unless um, unless I move outside of my office or um, after a specific amount of time but you know if there's no reason to update it, it's, it's not going to um, to transmit the location in order to conserve as much as possible the battery uh, but as soon as I take my car and, and start to travel around it will uh, transmit in real time um, so that is for the first step which is how to track a device globally and now that I did that I'm ready to take the next step which is to configure the system for indoor location so I'm going to click here so now the next step is to go through um, these um, these different stages to configure uh, indoor location for whereabouts for indoor tracking so I first step I have my uh, credentials I created the site then I need to have an Android smartphone to do the site survey uh, so this is um, you know it's better to take a, a real smartphone for that rather than a, a small one and um, and then I need to install AccuWare indoors which is available in the uh, in Google Play or there's also a link to download it but it's um, it's the other app that we need for fingerprinting so I installed it here it's uh, it's a cycle icon here now the next step is to configure the uh, site with a floor plan so I am going to go in the uh, dashboard um, and here in the map section or sorry in the uh, in the general section uh, I'm going to configure first a level okay so the default level is the one I'm in and I'm going to call it uh, you know third floor that's where we are on the third floor of our building and I'm going to add a floor plan so here I have um, two options I can either import a KML or um, directly send upload an image directly so I'm going to do that select image uh, desktop accurate here and I'm going this is the floor plan um, so I need to put it where the building is located so this is sorry so it requires a little bit of uh, precision here and also it requires to know what is to, to know the uh, really the, the building pretty well um, so here I'm going to rotate a little bit um, that's our building and like this I'm pretty much on top of top of it like this so I think we should we're good with the uh, you know uh, with placing the floor plan I'm going to click save here okay so now I see this floor plan here that has been entered so if I go back into the whereabouts section I click on map and boom now it, it zooms directly to the floor plan and if I zoom again this is where we are the uh, the AccuWare office and I am going to now I'm ready to do the fingerprinting. Okay, so I have um, installed the um, AccuWare indoors from uh, Google Play on this phone. So I'm going to launch it. And um, 
if I go in the settings, um, I need to enter all the information. So the username and password that I registered, then the site ID, which was in the, um, the email that I received when I created my account. Level ID, remember I, I entered third floor, but the ID of the, of the uh, level is zero. So um, that I, I, I don't need to change anything since there's only one. Uh, indoors mode navigation, we don't need to change that. Beacon mode here could be interesting because this system works with uh, Bluetooth beacons or Wi-Fi or both. In this case, we're going to do Wi-Fi only since we don't have any uh, beacons installed. Uh, so I entered all that information and then um, when I am automatically presented with the uh, floor plan that I uploaded and now I need to do the site survey. Uh, so one interesting thing here is that if I go on the dashboard, um, you know, the, uh, the tag is shown inside the office. It's not exactly where we are. Uh, but if you look at the location, you know, I mentioned, uh, the 20 meters accuracy, that we could uh, that we could get that right away. Well, that's um, that's what we're getting right now. And our, our exact location is actually the orange area here. So after I do the site survey, um, I should have the position over there. Um, so let's see. Um, now I need to enter um, the uh, you know, the different waypoints uh, where I'm going to walk. So I zoom here the maximum. This is, this is the, no, no, I, sorry. I need to click first on, on training um, here on the upper corner. That's to say that I'm going to do the fingerprinting. Okay. And um, so the first, oops. Uh, so the first location here is going to be inside this office where we are now, okay, near the window. Then the second one is going to be in the middle of the office here. Then we're going to go inside the corridor, uh, then this end of the corridor, and then we'll completely the corner here, and then maybe... So we, you see, we can we can move the the dots around in order to fine tune the, uh, the uh, you know the route. And now I'm ready to do it. So I click on the little thunder here, and I hit each dot when I'm uh, when I'm reaching the waypoint. So here I'm going to be in the middle of the office. Okay, so. I click. Now I need to go outside in the corridor here. Now at this end of the corridor. And then finally in the corner. There you go. So now I'm done with that. Um, I can either upload the results right now or do the reverse route, which is always uh, something nice if I want to increase the, the accuracy. So let's do it. I turn around and I do revert route, which was, by the way, this icon here. So here... This is the corner. I turn, I need to walk towards our office door. Then I click, I need to go inside. There we are. And now back to the desk. Okay, so upload, now I can upload the results. Um, and that is going to be the finger, 
upload okay so excellent okay so i'm done with the uh fingerprinting of the floor i mean of at least one part of the floor um so what we're going to do right now is see if it has any uh impact on the location of the tag that we're tracking so this is the tag remember um i'm going to make sure that it takes the uh you know the indoor location uh now last seen zero seconds ago so the location is fresh and boom we're right inside our office before we were more in this area now we're much more we have a much more accurate location and you know just to uh, to demonstrate the room level accuracy i'm going to take this tag and take it uh, outside in the corridor and see if the location gets updated. So I'm just going to leave it here, hoping that no one is going to steal it. And let's see, so I'm going to go, go back to the dashboard. Um, I still have the location inside my office because it hasn't updated yet 50 seconds ago and it should update in a few seconds boom there you go four seconds ago and we are now inside the corridor so there you have it uh global location and indoor location with accurate whereabouts um there are other um other little um, features that are available but that's basically it he, that was uh, how to get started with uh, this uh, tracking system hope you enjoyed the video